friends. This is a, another Space Tomato Reacts. A little bit different this time, not Star Citizen, but we're gonna look at the campaign overview for Halo Infinite just released a couple hours ago. Um, so I might stop this a little bit as we're watching it, but for the most part, I'll let it run and maybe have a couple comments afterward. But if you wanna see this without any like distractions or annoying Space Tomato noises in the background, you should probably uh, check this out on your own for now first. Yeah, all right, let's do this. the beginning, Halo was about Master Chief and Cortana. Partners protecting humanity. But that is now a distant memory. Humanity is fighting for survival. The banished have risen, defeated our heroes, and taken control of the mysterious Zeta Halo. We need a savior. We need hope. We need Spartan 117. Master Chief. Classic. We have a new mission, soldier. What is he? What's down there? A weapon. A weapon? How many guns do you need? Banished Forerunner tech, huh? In the biggest campaign to date, Halo Infinite invites players to become Master Chief and discover true Spartan freedom in the most wide open and adventure-filled Halo experience yet. But Chief won't be alone on the journey. His first mission is to retrieve a new AI, codenamed the weapon. Definitely still seeing some problems it's with... It's been six months! Where have you been? Melodies. Following the events of Halo 5, Master Chief is searching for the answer to a troubling question. What happened to Cortana? I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. Was that Cortana? I was... Oh, yeah. ...searching for the answer to a troubling question. What happened to Cortana? I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? Awkward. <laughs> Order received. Stand by. So you can just call in vehicles. Okay, so they're going for a very open world approach here. Ooh, that's rough. The answer is somewhere on Zeta Halo. A damaged world full of wonder, mystery, and danger. Yes, that looks like a nice vehicle to play. Oh! And at every turn, the Banished are hunting Master Chief and the remnants of the UNSC. Victory is already ours. We will meet on the battlefield. Now you're looking better, dude. The Banished army is spread across the surface, building fearsome strongholds and outposts with no one to stop them. Until now. From the beginning of the Halo Saga, Master Chief has been a hero, oh. ready to fight and win against impossible odds. What is this? Is Halo you? Far Cry? You're safe now. Incoming. But what if it's a friend? <laughs> it is. Players now have more freedom than ever before to take down the Banished any way they choose. Banished facility up ahead, Chief. Some this kind is of salvage operation. Very open world. What do we do? Shut it down. Permanently. What do we have here? 
upgrades, unlockables. Oh boy, this is gonna be divisive. <laughs> Do you see that? Could be useful, if you like that kind of thing. Oh, I like it. Halo Infinite allows us all to become Master Chief, doing what Spartans do best, defying the odds to take down the Banished. Being Battlefield in disguise. Peace by peace. This won't be an easy fight. Master Chief will take on returning favorites and surprising new threats like the Agile Skimmers, a sadistic Spartan killer named Jaga Erdomni. Say good boy. Oh, love a good freaking assassin, Sangili. Even more threatening. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I am the harbinger of the truth. You are not the future. Are they just revealing? Exploring this vast and fractured world will put Spartan 117 to the ultimate test. This feels kind of like God of War 4. there is courage, there is hope. Welcome to the new era of Halo. The new era of Halo. Is everyone trying to kill you? It kind of seems like it. It's usually the case. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot to package up there. Um, so, vastly different direction. I didn't realize they were going to go this open world with it. To become Master Chief. To be honest, the, the thing that worries me most are these missions. Where are they? This. Um... Like, they made this sound like it was sort of a, hey, you stumbled across, upon this location, complete some objectives. And I made, like, a mention about, oh, it's Far Cry Halo, but, like, I really don't want to get stuck into running a bunch of pointless missions in this game. Or even semi-pointless missions. I loved the amount of open world there was in Halo CE, and I like that even though there was that open world, they kind of still kept you on a path. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about... If, if or how I will feel about Halo possibly going in the direction of just wildly open world with side quests and all that kind of stuff because uh, you start to get a diluted experience and Halo's always been very concentrated. The pickups and the upgrades is interesting, not something I expected to see. Yeah. So this is like super, I mean, obviously this is an RPG, but you know, little RPG elements here and there with little unlockables and stuff like that. Not gonna lie, I'm surprised to see it. Um, it looks like it's basically just the same ones that you get in multiplayer, so it'll be interesting to see if you can at all pass pass over the uh, the effects that you might get from multiplayer or not, but I'm guessing multiplayer is just always upgraded for everybody. And then they showed the map. Map is very useful and pretty cool. Um. And it'll be good for like moving around, but to be honest, it probably would have been best if there was co-op. And I also, we still don't get an idea of how big the game is with this, you know, so we don't know how big the map is. Granted, I've never cared about a Halo's map size. Um, unfortunately, now that they have a map, I do. The rest of it, you know, seems like a lot of what we've known. There were there were some like LOD issues here that I was kind of like, meh. It's really the, the large metallic surfaces. And they still look a little start. muddy. You see them in the background there. They still look a little muddy rendering in. Um, overall, it's a it's a good look. It's not as good as I expected it to look, to be honest. But uh, it's okay, man. Those distance shots, though, the dis the, the rendering in the Most distance ain't great. And adventure -filled I wonder why that was such a challenge. For them. Yet. You can kind of see it. Just it, you can't quite get the material to have good detail in the distance there in that weird lighting. You can call an ordinance. You know, this is over from multiplayer. This should be this should be useful. The, the interesting part to me is the ship in the background floating back there. It's definitely a banished ship. Um, banished things look kind of like toys to me. I don't know. They look like 
giant action figure toys. Uh, but it'll be cool that we could drop these around. Clearly, they're going to have us constantly running random missions. Uh, but it feels like it's going to be kind of like a hub world, like a central location that we know with a bunch of branching locations we can go to with various like mini bosses that you can find and maybe track down. Just just get got that God of War feel to me. Uh, I think it could be a really good game. I can't I can't say I'm 100% confident about it yet, but uh, some of this looks really exciting. Some of it looks not super exciting. I just hope the main storyline and the conflict with Cortana has great writing. I, that's all I want. I want a memorable story. Uh, the rest of this is just kind of fluff for me. So we'll see how it goes. But thanks, you guys, for I know this is, you know, not my normal stuff. I usually do Star Citizen stuff. Thank you for anybody who watched this. I'm glad you're still here. And um, please jump in the comments. Let me know if you like Halo, if you want to discuss it at all. Me and, of course, me and Drazen will be playing and chatting and all that jazz. So if you want to join us, hit me up in the comments. Join us in Discord, wherever you want. But we'll catch you there. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.